Hey guys, Tim here from TimKipTutorials.com and today we're going to be um, showing you how to create this sort of functionality where you click a link and you open up a hidden div and then you can click it again and close it. So basically that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I do have a text tutorial on this video series, or tutorial down here. Uh, let's see, tog toggling visibility of an element. If you cannot find it there, it's under study jQuery under the text tutorials and it's toggling the visibility of an element right here. But first, I'm not going to go through the toggling tutorial. I'm going to be implementing jQuery into your site. If you don't know how to do that already, um, check out this tutorial and the video tutorial on it and you can get a better understanding. Um, I'm not going to go through any of this. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste the code at the bottom and then I'm going to go into Notepad++. You can use any text editor of your choice. So I've already created an index.php uh, file and at the top here I've created a folder called uh, on my server under tutorials folder jQuery and then toggling then this index.php. I'm going to copy and paste this code in and I'm going to save this and next thing we need to do is test it out just to make sure our uh, jQuery has been installed but before we can test it out like I just said to see if our jQuery has been installed we need to implement that so what you need to do go over to uh, your browser, go to jQuery.com, or you can uh, follow along in the implementing um, jQuery tutorial. You can just choose either the development version or the production version. doesn't really matter. Download jQuery. Uh, sometimes it'll give you just a, a file like this. Uh, just go ahead and copy and paste it all. Control A on a Windows and then Control C and then what you want to want to do is just copy and paste that code into a new file and save it into your directory. Now I've already downloaded it and as you can see in my file structure right here I have index.php and then I have a jQuery.js file. So right here it says your library file change that to whatever you named it, in my case it's jQuery.js save this and then over here in your browser you're going to want to go to your file that you created, so index, so I'm in the toggling folder. And when you load it up, the first thing, if you've installed it correctly, it's going to pop up and say your jQuery library has been integrated correctly. So now that we know that jQuery is all installed and ready to go, uh, we can continue editing our code. So a couple things we're going to knock out. We're just going to knock out uh, the alert right here. I'll just comment it out for now. And we'll just change our title to jQuery toggling, something like that. So in our body tag, actually let's move this up, the script up into the head tag here. Not quite sure why I did that. So in our body tag, let's just put h2 tags and we're going to say jQuery toggling. And we're going to go ahead and put a horizontal rule under there. And we're just going to create a div. And inside that div, we're just going to type some text. We're going to say paragraph tag inside of there. We're just going to put this is the content that is going to be hidden and toggled using jQuery. Okay, save that. We're going to go refresh our page and title has changed and it says jQuery toggling. This is content that's going to be hidden and toggled using jQuery. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is we're going to set up our jQuery or JavaScript. <clears throat> so we're going to, inside here under the alert, we're just going to create a function. Or I'm sorry. We're going to knock this whole thing out right here. We're just going to type function, toggle, and we're going to pass one parameter of ID. Open and close curly braces. And inside those curly braces, we're just going to type an if and else statement. We're going to say if, and then we're going to use the dollar sign. Inside of there, we're going to put two single, or I'm sorry, inside of here, we're going to put two single quotes and close off our parentheses. Inside of the single quotes, we're going to type pound sign, and then after this, we're going to put a plus sign, and we're going to pass the ID in there. So basically what that's doing, it's getting the ID that we're passing in and we're assigning it to this. And I am sorry because I you do need the uh, dollar sign 
and another parentheses. Right, just like that. So make changes to your code and let's continue. Now we're saying dot is open and close parentheses. Let's finish off our parentheses that opens the if statement. Inside of here, we're going to put two double quotes and we're going to type uh, colon hidden. So basically it's what it's doing is it's checking you're using jQuery to grab up the ID of uh, the element that we are passing into the function and we're determining if it is hidden or not. So if it is hidden we're going to do this code hidden element else we're going to do this code showing there's a showing element so when it's hidden what we're going to do is we're going to find the ID of the jQuery element just like this inside their single quotes pass in the pound sign again and put plus ID and we're going to say dot slide capital D and then down and then we're going to say open close parentheses finish it off with a semicolon and inside there we're just going to say two double quotes and say fast. So basically that will slide down the hidden element at a rate of fast. You can use slow as well. So basically we're just going to copy and paste this and move it into our else statement and we just need to change slide down to slide up. Okay and you're wondering how are we going to pass an ID into this. So First off, let's save this and refresh our page just to make sure we don't have any errors. It does not look like we have any errors. So inside of our um, div here that we created, we need to give it an ID. ID is equal to, we're just going to say div1. Okay. Since we have that, we're going to need to apply some style to it because in order for this to work correctly, the div that needs to be shown needs to be uh, hidden on start or on the load of the page. So we're going to style equals display of none. Now if we refresh our page we're going to notice that the content has disappeared. Don't worry, it's still there, it's just hidden. So let's create a link right under the h rule tab above the div. We're just going to say a href is equal to pound and then we're going to say on click is equal to double quotes and we'll fill that in a second and we're going to finish off our link and inside there we're just going to say toggle div one okay now on click we're going to need to pass this function so we're going to say toggle and inside the parentheses finish it off with a semicolon and then we're just going to type in return false semicolon okay so now inside of the toggle parentheses two single quotes inside there we're going to need to pass since we're passing an ID we want to pass in the ID of the element that we want to uh, toggle so in this case our ID is div1 so let's type that in there we're going to save this refresh our page our link is going to show up and if we click it, if all else has been coded correctly, it should toggle the div. So as you see that, we're toggling it just like that. Now say you have multiple links that you want to toggle different things. It's really easy to do. All you would have to do is create a new div. We're just going to copy and paste the link and the div here. So right under that, we're going to say change this ID to div2. And we're going to change the toggle function to div2 and right here toggle div2 and let's just put a, a little heading in here saying div2 Oops. and then up here let's do the same thing div1 save it and refresh they should both be hidden well let's just do that instead of having those in a, in a row we're just going to put a break here 
just like that. So they're right next to each other. Just like that. Div 1. And we have div 2. Close that. We can open this, close this one. And it all works just like that. Alright, well, that's jQuery toggling. The easy way. Um, you can also somehow, um, I might do another video on how to make it so you can have these all linked together. So if this one's open, this one, and you go to open uh, to div 2, it will automatically close div 1. So we'll cover that in another video tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, all videos are being stored over here on my website, timkiptutorials.com. Uh, once I upload this, it will be in the latest video tutorials, or else it will be in JavaScript and jQuery video tutorials, and it will be <clears throat> somewhere on this page. So we have some other tutorials here. If you have any help with any codes or anything like that, we have our help master or webmaster forms here um, with our different categories down below. You have to be a member of the site to post in the forum, but other than that, everything else is free to view and use. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you next time.